There wasn't just one Big Bang that started our universe. It is just one of many Big Bangs preceding ours that started each of them. The echoes of these preceding universe can even be found within our own. The question of what existed before our universe and even what will take place after has been answered by mathematician Roger Penrose in his conformal cyclic cosmology model. But let's not get ahead of ourselves. Sometimes we may falsely assume that in physics, experimental observations come first and only later do we find the mathematics to explain them. Though that has been true in the beginning of mathematics and physics, it is no longer the case. There have been countless instances where mathematics predicted what was supposed to happen physically. And only way later did we confirm that. For example, predicted by Albert Einstein's general theory of relativity in 1916 were gravitational waves. Gravitational waves are ripples in the space-time caused by some of the most violent and energetic processes in the universe. It wasn't until 2016, a hundred years later, that LIGO and Virgo collaborations announced the first observation of gravitational waves, confirming the prediction. The existence of antimatter was first predicted by Paul Dirac in 1928 with his Dirac equation, which combined quantum mechanics and special relativity. Experimental confirmation came in 1932 when Carl Anderson discovered the positron, an antiparticle of the electron. Other findings, like the Higgs boson, black holes, and even the planet Neptune, were all first predicted mathematically and physically found decades later. Enter Roger Penrose, Hello there. a figure who embodies the fusion of mathematics and physics. For those who don't know, Roger Penrose is a mathematical physicist renowned for his work in the fields of mathematics, physics, and cosmology. He is one of the greatest mathematicians alive, but feel free to comment below if you disagree. And don't forget to give this video a like. An intellectual giant, Penrose made significant contributions to the understanding of black holes, quantum mechanics and the origins of the universe, especially in partnership with physicist Stephen Hawking. He has many controversial theories, but we'll discuss just one, the CCC. Conformal Cyclic Cosmology CCC, is a theory that offers a novel perspective on the universe's origin and ultimate fate. This theory stands as a radical departure from the conventional Big Bang model of cosmology. According to CCC, each individual universe, or aeon, begins with its own Big Bang. In CCC, an aeon is essentially one complete universe's life cycle. As each aeon progresses, it expands, much like our current understanding of the universe's expansion. Eventually, this expansion leads to a state where the universe becomes very large, smooth and featureless. This means that the universe spreads out so much that it becomes extremely cold and empty, with no significant structures like stars or galaxies. The end state of an aeon, this smooth, cold and expanded universe, then transitions to become the starting point, or initial singularity, of the next aeon. It's as if this expanded state resets and starts the next universe with its own Big Bang. The key mathematical concept in CCC is conformal geometry. The mathematical concept of conformal geometry can be explored through the understanding of conformal transformations. These transformations preserve angles, but not necessarily length or sizes. In simple terms, imagine transforming a shape, like a square, into another shape, like a rectangle. This transformation keeps all the angles in the square the same in the rectangle, even though the sides' lengths may change. In the provided graph, we can see a visual representation of a conformal transformation using a complex function. The function chosen for this demonstration is fz equals z squared, where z equals x plus iy, with real part x and imaginary part y. The blue points represent a grid in the original complex plane z plane. This grid is uniform, showing an evenly distributed set of points along both the real and imaginary axis. The red points represent the grid after applying the complex function fz equals z squared. This transformation maps each point from the original z plane to a new location in the w plane. Notably, the transformation preserves angles at each point. Although the distances between points, sizes and shapes are altered, the angles where the grid lines intersect remain the same. 
In CCC, Penn Rose explores the idea of conformal geometry in the context of the universe expansion. In the language of general relativity, this involves the metric tensor g mu nu, which describes the fabric of space-time. A conformal transformation of this metric involves scaling space-time while preserving the angles, which is more challenging to represent visually due to the four-dimensional nature of space-time, three spatial dimensions plus time. However, we can attempt a simplified representation in two-dimensional space. Let's consider a grid representing a small section of space-time and apply a scaling function omega to transform it, representing the effect of a conformal transformation on the metric tensor. We'll use this simple scaling function omega of x, y for this visualization where alpha is a constant that determines the degree of scaling. The blue square represents a uniform grid in a two-dimensional space-time, similar to a flat space-time in general relativity. The red figure shows the same grid after applying the scaling function omega. Notice how the points are no longer uniformly spaced. They are denser near the center and more spread out as we move away. This transformation represents a conformal transformation of the space-time metric. The new g mu nu is omega squared of the previous g mu nu. The scaling function omega of x, y modifies the space-time metric, simulating the expansion effect in CCC. The universe's expansion can be thought of as a scaling of space-time, where distant points move away from each other. Despite the stretching, certain properties of space-time, like the grid causal structure, loosely analogous to the angles in our two-dimensional grid, remain unchanged which is the essence of a conformal transformation in this context. According to CCC, each universe or aeon doesn't exist in isolation. Instead, there are echoes or imprints left over from the previous universe that can be detected in the next one. The concept of Hawking points arises from the idea that the information about the previous universe can somehow be carried through to the next universe. This involves the theoretical emission of radiation from black holes, known as Hawking radiation. Penrose suggests that when massive black holes at the end of one aeon collapse, they emit gravitational waves or radiation. This radiation can potentially carry information about the previous universe's structure and events. These emissions from collapsing black holes are referred to as Hawking points, in honor of Stephen Hawking's work on black hole radiation. In CCC, these points are placed in the cosmic microwave background CMB radiation of the new aeon where imprints from the previous universe black holes might be found. Imagine a pond as a universe. When a stone or a black hole is thrown into the pond, it creates ripples or gravitational waves. Now imagine the pond freezes instantly after the stone sinks or an end of an aeon. The next day, the pond thaws into water again and a new aeon begins but faint patterns from yesterday's ripples can still be seen on the surface. Conformal transformations in CCC are used to transition from the expanded cold state of one aeon to the singular dense state of the next aeon. Mathematically, these transformations preserve angles, but not size, which allows the end state of one universe to be mapped to the beginning of another. Detecting these Hawking points would involve analyzing the CMB data looking for specific patterns or anomalies that differ from what the standard cosmological model predicts. Research is of course still ongoing, and no definitive evidence has been found. Though scientists are currently highly skeptical and critical of this concept, it shouldn't hinder research into this theory or other potential explanations, since concepts like Hawking radiation, which we now know to be a fact, were highly criticized initially and seen as too radical just as much as the theory of what came before and what will come after. If you like this video, I'm sure you're gonna love this one. See you there.